Hey, what's up everyone? Richard here, and welcome to the 6th episode of my Payday 2 Weapon Guide. Today we'll be taking a look at the M308 Marksman Rifle, based on a heavily modified version of the M14. The M308 has the highest base damage of all the rifles, and the second highest potential damage of all the weapons in Payday 2. It also has extremely high accuracy once upgraded, a number which can only be bested by the Grubber Cruz handgun. Let's dive into the numbers, and starting with damage, the M308 will deal 75 damage per shot, which is only second to the Mascani 12 gauge. The extremely high damage makes this weapon prime for dealing with heavier units. To further capitalize on the high damage, headshots should be attempted if possible. Headshot multipliers vary, but with the M308 has enough stopping power to drop any non-special unit with a single headshot once upgraded. Only tasers and bulldozers will prove resistant to your fire, if only briefly. Bulldozers will need at least 7 shots to the face shield before succumbing to your fire, and tasers will need even less, only 3 headshots at base damage. The rate of fire for the M308 is surprisingly high for a weapon of such a high caliber. Roughly 705 rounds per minute puts it ahead of most rifles and even competitive with some SMGs. The high fire rate is of little use however, your recoil is much too high and targets will be dropped before the need of extra rounds arises. However, using it in automatic mode against a bulldozer only inches away from your face can put an end to its reign of terror quickly. Having the highest accuracy among primaries at 16 is a nice benefit considering the ranges the M308 operates at. You may be required to target foes at the very edge of your sightline several dozen meters away. Missing shots can become costly with the lack of ammo the weapon has, so landing your first shot is critical to continued success with this weapon. The M308 chambers a very powerful rifle round, meaning kick is quite substantial. A base stability rating of only 3 means you will need to realign your weapon before firing again. This can give your shooting an easy tempo and allow for conservative use of ammo, which plays to the weapon's strengths. Modifying the weapon will, however, greatly reduce recoil. As expected with a high powered rifle, the M308's magazine supply is minimal at 10 rounds. While this does mean in theory you can drop 10 enemies without worrying about reloading, it can be problematic when dealing with a large group of police. The mag size can be increased via the mag plus skill to a maximum of 25 rounds. Reload times have a very large disparity between the long and short reload. With an empty chamber you will need 3.2 seconds to complete the procedure. With at least one round remaining, you will only need two seconds. Topping off ammo whenever possible can save time when you are caught with an empty magazine, so do it whenever you can. By default, you have access to 40 rounds total. Not a terribly high number, but if you do show judicious marksmanship, this will last a long while. Scavenging ammo off slain police is essential to keeping your weapon stocked, however, so do not rely on your starting ammo count. Replenishing your small ammo count can take a while. Each box of ammo will yield between 1 and 2 rounds of ammunition, meaning you will need to sift through a lot of corpses in order to fill up. With fully loaded ace, you will pick up between 1 and 3 rounds of ammo per box. Not an amazing increase, but substantially increases your odds of picking up 2 rounds. Since the M308 lacks a lot of attachments, we will be building a pretty simple weapon. If you are familiar with my big game hunter loadout, then you will know which mods I will select. To boost the already high damage and threat the M308 has, we will select the Fire Breather as it boosts both of these stats considerably. Stubby and the Tank are both noteworthy options as well. Whatever mods you put on here, do not under any circumstances lock the weapon on full auto. The weapon becomes uncontrollable at best and is, it's just a bad idea. Depending on the conditions of the mission, a laser or a light will make a good choice. The light obviously being a better choice for a darker night mission, and the laser being a better choice for lighter maps. Optics, like the gadgets, depend on heavily what map you're playing on. Large open heights such as watchdogs and rats tends towards high magnification optics like the ACOG and milspec, while tighter maps favor low magnification optics like the holographic or Seymour sight. The ideal stock to have is the Jaeger stock, as it confers the most accuracy and stability benefits. But if the Abraham is all you have, use it. It's better than nothing. Now that you have a nice weapon, you will also need skills to complement it. Now we will look at 5 skills that will greatly benefit the M308 and its playstyle. The first perk comes from the Mastermind Tree, Leadership, specifically Leadership Ace, will increase you and your crew stability by 50% with all weapons. A nice buff that will help targeting multiple foes in rapid succession. 
Also from the Mastermind tree, we will select Kilmer. This will increase the reload speed of all assault rifles by 25%. The quicker reloads will mean that you will spend more time firing and less time reloading. Acing it does offer some nice benefits such as increased mobile accuracy, but it is not essential. From the Enforcer tree, fully loaded will let you worry less about your ammo supply and focus on popping heads. Acing the perk will also let you more quickly replenish ammo from fallen foes. Moving on to the Technician tree, the Rifleman perk Ace will double the speed for aiming down sights, allowing you to quickly target opponents that dare cross your sightline. It will also increase your zoom level by 25%, giving you better clarity on target for the farthest of enemies. The Sharpshooter perk will increase accuracy for the M308 by 20%, as well as increase stability by 25%. Both of these will make your weapon effective at long ranges. The M308 represents the extreme side of the assault rifle category, dealing an incredible amount of damage even out to extreme distances. It also has the ability to do so accurately, meaning it can handle heavy enemies before they become a serious threat to you and your crew. Its high damage and accuracy have a few major side effects, high recoil and small magazines, both of which make the M308 less than ideal for dealing with large groups of weaker police units such as basic blue and yellow SWAT units. However, these shortcomings can be overcome with a good team and proper firing control, and with good aim and a steady hand, the M308 can deliver justice from afar. Thanks for watching. Once again, my name is Richard. Peace out.